signs and symptoms of an enlarged spleen. Many people may feel pain in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen and may not notice what is wrong with them. This is an indicator of an enlarged spleen. The spleen is a fist-sized organ found in the upper left side of your abdomen, next to your stomach and behind your left ribs. It's an important part of your immune system but you can survive without it. This is because the liver can take over many of the spleen's functions. The spleen controls the level of white blood cells, red blood cells and platelets. These are small cells that form blood clots. It screens the blood and removes any old or damaged red blood cells. Spleen enlargement, a condition known as splenomegaly. An enlarged spleen may become overactive, trapping or removing too many blood cells from circulation which opens the body to various infections. These are the common signs and symptoms of an enlarged spleen. Welcome to Health Pride. Here we talk about healthy food recipes, skin care tips, diseases and their prevention, helping you to live a happy and healthy life. Number 1. Abdominal pain and discomfort. When your spleen, which is an organ in your belly, becomes bigger than usual, it can cause abdominal pain and discomfort. When your spleen stretches, it hits the stomach walls, causing some pain, which makes you uncomfortable. The pain might be like a dull ache on the left side of your upper belly, near your ribs. Sometimes, it can even make your left shoulder or back hurt a bit. Additionally, an enlarged spleen can affect nearby organs and cause referred pain or discomfort in other areas of the abdomen. The underlying causes of spleen enlargement vary, including infections, blood disorders, and it's much better to consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and treatment if abdominal pain and discomfort persist. Number 2. Fatigue. This can be a signal that something might be wrong with your spleen. The spleen maintains the level of fluids in the body. If it gets bigger than it should be, which we call an enlarged spleen, it can lead to fatigue. When the spleen grows, it starts to trap more blood cells than it should. These blood cells are essential for carrying oxygen and giving us energy. But when the spleen keeps too many of them, it can make us feel tired and worn out. So, if you're feeling more tired than usual, it might be an indicator of an enlarged spleen. Spleen pain is usually felt behind your left ribs. It might be tender when you touch the area. This pain makes you uncomfortable. It happens due to destroyed red blood cells. The affected individual feels weak, tired and may also experience fatigue. Sleep deprivation decreases expression of genes involved in T-cell function. When you lack sleep more often, this can be as a result of fatigue, which is a sign of an enlarged spleen. Number 3. Back and shoulder pain. Back or shoulder pain can be a clear symptom of an enlarged spleen. The spleen is an organ located beneath the ribcage on the left side of the body, and when it enlarges, it can press against surrounding structures, leading to discomfort and pain. The pain typically manifests in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen, which may radiate towards the back or shoulder area. This occurs because the enlarged spleen irritates adjacent nerves or stretches the peritoneum, the lining of the abdominal cavity. As a result, individuals with an enlarged spleen may experience a dull aching sensation in their back or shoulder region. Pain at the tip of the left shoulder on elevating the legs in the supine position. This is due to the presence of blood leaking from the spleen into the peritoneal cavity, pulling in and thereby irritating the left dome of the diaphragm when the patient adopts this position, making back and shoulder pain a common and clear sign of an enlarged spleen. Number 4. Easy bleeding and bruising. The blood contains components such as platelets, their primary function is to prevent and stop bleeding. If a blood vessel is damaged, the body sends signals to platelets which cause them to travel to the injured area. Once the platelets arrive at the site, they clump together to form a clot that helps stop bleeding. 
an enlarged spleen may collect a huge number of platelets, which are essential for blood clotting. This activity reduces the number of platelets circulating in the bloodstream, making it easier for bleeding and bruising to occur. Furthermore, an enlarged spleen can also remove healthy blood cells, including red blood cells, prematurely from circulation. This can lead to anemia, a condition characterized by a reduced ability of the blood to carry oxygen. Anemic individuals may experience fatigue and weakness, which can contribute to easy bruising. An enlarged spleen disrupts the normal functioning of blood components, leading to a decrease in platelets and anemia, both of which contribute to the symptom of easy bleeding and bruising. Number 5. Frequent Infections The spleen has a few important functions. It fights any invading germs in the blood, since it contains anti-infection white blood cells. It also controls the level of blood cells, such as white blood cells, red blood cells and platelets which fight off infections. When the spleen becomes enlarged, it can disrupt its normal functions. An enlarged spleen can trap and remove an excessive number of blood cells, including healthy ones, leaving the body more open to infections. Moreover, the enlarged spleen may not efficiently produce enough white blood cells and antibodies, weakening the body's immune system. As a result, individuals with enlarged spleen may experience repeated infections, particularly those caused by bacteria that the spleen usually helps eliminate. These infections can come as recurring respiratory, urinary tract, or abdominal issues. Number 6. Feeling full quickly. These are the most common symptoms of an enlarged spleen, being unable to eat a large meal. Feeling discomfort, fullness, or pain on the upper left side of the abdomen. This condition is known as satiety. Satiety. A feeling of fullness without eating or after eating a small amount of food. This is sometimes caused by any health condition such as an enlarged spleen. It is because the spleen is pressing on your stomach which reduces the space to be occupied by the food you are eating. When the spleen becomes enlarged, it can press against the stomach or other nearby organs, leading to early satiety, or a feeling of fullness, even after consuming a small amount of food. This occurs because the enlarged spleen occupies more space in the abdominal cavity, leaving less room for the stomach to expand and accommodate food comfortably. Consequently, individuals with an enlarged spleen may experience reduced appetite, weight loss, and discomfort during meals. Number 7. Jaundice. Jaundice is a condition characterized by the yellowing of the skin and eyes due to elevated levels of lilirubin in the blood. One of the potential causes of jaundice is an enlarged spleen. The spleen plays a crucial role in filtering and processing blood, including the removal of old or damaged red blood cells. When the spleen becomes enlarged, it can disrupt this normal blood processing function. An enlarged spleen may trap and break down an excessive number of red blood cells, releasing higher amounts of lilirubin into the bloodstream. Lilirubin is a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of hemoglobin in red blood cells. Elevated lilirubin levels in the blood can overwhelm the liver's capacity to process it, leading to jaundice. Therefore, Jaundice can be a sign of an enlarged spleen because the spleen's abnormal activity can result in increased lilirubin production and accumulation, ultimately causing the characteristic yellowing of the skin and eyes associated with jaundice. Number 8. Anemia. Anemia is a condition where the blood lacks enough healthy red blood cells or hemoglobin. This can be a symptom of an enlarged spleen because when the spleen becomes bigger than usual, it collects large amounts of blood, not separating new red blood cells from old red blood cells causing anemia. This activity leaves the body with few new and healthy red blood cells which weakens your body, making it difficult to fight off infections. 
conditions such as hemolytic anemia and neutropenia that can cause early destruction of red blood cells can overload the spleen. In summary, an enlarged spleen can lead to anemia by causing the premature destruction of red blood cells and reducing the overall number of functional red blood cells in the bloodstream. Anemia is one of the potential consequences of an enlarged spleen, but it's essential to identify and address the underlying cause of the spleen enlargement to effectively manage both conditions. Those are the signs and symptoms of an enlarged spleen. Remember the spleen is essential for your overall health. It controls blood cells such as red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets which fight off infections. The platelets form blood clots which stops bleeding in case of an injury. When you notice such indications, don't rush into conclusions, visit a health care professionals for proper diagnosis and appropriate medication. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Stay spleen healthy.